When I want to call another extension, all I have to do is come up to the search bar up at the top and then I can either manually type in their extension number if I know what it is and then I can either hit the enter key on my keyboard or hit the little icon here to call them or if I don't know what their extension number is I can type in their first or last name and it should narrow it down to those people under the contacts category and when you find that person that you'd like to call you can hover over their name and you'll see an icon that pops up with a little handset icon and it is actually to let you call over to them. So if I wanted to call over to Steve, I can click on the icon to call him and that's how I can make a quick call over to Steve. Once he answers, because it's showing you it's dialing right now, it would show you up in the top that your call is connected to him. I'm going to hang up because he's not answering his phone. We're going to make another call out real quick to another extension. So I'm going to put in the extension number manually, call over to them. And once the call is answered, it'll show you the person that you called, the headset icon. It's just letting you know the call is connected. And then it will show you the number that you called over to, whether it's an extension or even an outside phone number that you had called over to. If you wanted to make an outside phone call, you go up to the same bar up at the top. And for some phone systems, if you're used to using a physical desk phone, you might require you to dial nine first before you can make an outside call. On the MyCollab client, we have that pre-built into the system. So the only thing that it's requiring you to do is dialing the area code first and then the rest of the phone number. So I'm gonna call my main number. I'm going to hit enter and you can see that it's doing our access code and calling out then that phone number that I punched in. Hello, Barton Technology, Bernadette speaking. Hi Bern, could you stay on the phone with me? I'm just doing a test video. Could you hold on one second? Yeah, sure, no Thank problem. you. When I'm talking to this person, uh, you can see that we have a call out to them. The headset icon shows you that we're connected. Now if I wanted to put that person on hold for a moment, the pause symbol to the right of your end call icon is your hold key. So if I press that icon, it changes it white, lighting it up. And it also shows you below that number that you have that person on hold. So if you wanted to take the person off of hold, you can click on the hold icon and it will take that person off of hold. Now let's say you're talking to this person and you happen to get another phone call. So say somebody else is trying to call you. You get a little beep letting you know you have another call coming through and it will show you the next person that's coming in and it asks you, do you wanna accept the call, the little green icon, or the red is to decline? If I accept it, it accepts the call and it actually automatically puts the person I was just talking to on hold because you can see there's a little pause symbol next to the first person I was talking to. And then it goes right to the second person um, of who I'm now talking with, with a little headset. So I'm now talking to extension 5022 Jen Ofstein. If I want to go back and forth between the two calls, I can put the person I just got connected to on hold, select the person I was talking to first, unhold that call and it lets me reestablish my call to them put them back on hold go back to this person and you can keep going back and forth and when you're finally ready to end the call with the person that you're connected to simply hit the end call icon and then you can always go back to the person you have holding on your phone thank you burn i appreciate it you're welcome All right, bye 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 Jim. and that's what you can do to go back and forth between two different people that you have holding on your phone to answer a second call. When you're talking to a person and you wanted to mute your call so they cannot hear you, so you're still connected, but you just want to mute your side of the conversation because you don't want them hearing what's happening on your side, you can click the mute icon, which is in the bottom left-hand corner of your MyCollab window. And when you click on that, it changes it to a red icon for mute, letting you know the feature is activated. When you want to shut it off, click on that icon again and it will disable your mute feature. Say I'm talking to this person and I want to transfer that call to someone else. To do a call transfer, 
what you can do is to the right of the hold key, there's a little more icon. When you click on that, you'll have a couple of options, one of which is giving you the ability to transfer the call. When you click on transfer, you can either type in the person's extension number if you know what it is, or you can type in their name and it will narrow that down. So you can select the person's name, and again, it's nice because it'll show you when you click on it what the person's actual extension number is. But the key is, is that on the bottom right-hand side, you have two transfer methods on transferring the call. A blind transfer, the one with the single arrow that I'm selecting right now, will let you take a call and just transfer the call right through without having you talking to them first. It just takes a call, puts it through to Steve, and if he doesn't answer it, it'll go to his voicemail. If I were to choose the other option here to do a consultation call, what it does is it will put the caller that I'm talking to on a temporary hold and it will dial over to Steve. And it gives me the ability to talk to Steve first before I can complete the call transfer. So if I wanted to do this, I'll show you both ways. I'll take the call and do a blind transfer first. So if I select blind transfer over to Steve, it's gonna take the call, puts a call through to Steve and it'll say call transfer completed. If I wanted to show you how to do a transfer consultation call, make this call again. We're going to take this caller, the person that I'm chatting with, and we're going to transfer them back over to Steve. So I'm going to find Steve again, select his name, and then I'll hit the icon that says consultation call. When I do that, it puts the person I was talking to, Jen Offside on hold, and now it's calling over to Steve. Hello? Hey Steve, well, I have um, Jen on the phone for you. Do you want to take it? Yep, you um, do? Yes. Okay, hold, hold on one second. So when you're ready to connect that call, you'll have a little single arrow that lets you transfer the call over. So once you click on that, it will then transfer the call over to that person. So there's a blind transfer option just to push the call right through without to having talking to them. Or you can do a consult, which will let you talk to the internal person first before you complete a call transfer over to them. The last thing that I wanna show you how to do is checking your voicemail. When somebody leaves you a voicemail and you can see that somebody had left me a voicemail message on this phone, and I'm hovering over it right now and it's showing you a number one. I have one new voicemail message. If somebody left me you know, five new messages, it will show you a numeric value of a five. So when I click on that, it's gonna show me the one new message I have in voicemail. And it's very similar to your smartphone, so if you simply click on this, it's gonna to go to a screen showing you the phone number of the person that had called you. You can play it back. Uh, you could delete it once you're done listening to it, or if you hit call back, it'll place a call back to the phone number of um, the number that was on that voicemail message. So if I wanted to play it back, I can hit the play icon, and it plays the message back. It shows me in the top right-hand side how long the message was, and then um, it's saying the message was left today at 1.16 p.m. If I no longer need this message, I can select delete, it's gonna confirm, you know, asking you if you wanna delete it, you can hit okay. And it will delete that message. And once all the messages are clear out of my voicemail, it'll say no voicemail messenger left. So that's how you can access your voicemail when you are using your MyCollab desktop client.